हेलो एवरी वन आई एम प्रोफेसर सागर को लेकर दिस सेशन वी विल सॉल्व फ्यू न्यूमरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ड्यूटी डेल्टा क्रॉप पीरियड बेस पीरियड बेसिकली द प्री रिक्विजिट फॉर दिस वीडियो इज टू यू शुड नो द बेसिक्स ऑफ ड्यूटी डेल्टा बेस पीरियड क्रॉप पीरियड बट दिस थिंग्स आई ऑलरेडी हैव एक्सप्लेन इन द लास्ट वीडियो दोज हु हैव एंड गॉन थ्रू दैट वीडियो दे कैन जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो सो दैट दे विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट एवर द सोल्यूशंस आई हैव गिवन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इन दिस फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इट इज आज दैट द कल्चरल कमांड इट इज गिवन दैट कल्चरल कमांड एरिया ऑफ द कैनल इज टेन थाउजेंड हेक्टर द एरिया ग्रोज ओनली टू क्रॉप्स सो दैट इज राइस एंड खरीफ सो सॉरी राइस इन द खरीफ सीजन एंड अनादर क्रॉप वीट इन द रबी सीजन द डिजाइन डिस्चार्ज ऑफ द कैनल इज बेस्ड ऑन द राइस रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वेन वी डिजाइन द डिस्चार्ज ऑफ द कैनल वी शुड कंसिडर ओनली द वैल्यूज विच आर गिवन फॉर द राइस ओनली एंड वट आर दोज वैल्यूज सो एरिया इरीगेटेड इज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हेक्टर बेस पीरियड बी इज इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी डेज एंड डेल्टा दैट इज डेप्थ for rice only it is 130 cm so the maximum permissible irrigated area in hectare for wheat we are supposed to calculate but the given is there that is for base period of the wheat is 120 days and delta is in 50 cm and we are supposed to find out the area that can be that is uh, that would be irrigated for wheat and that to in hectare so uh, when you, when as we have gone to as we have read this problem so from this what we understand is the first thing that we are supposed to find out the area but when we find out the area <clears throat> we should go to the reverse way we should think in a such a way that uh, we should understand so what are those things that we should find out so what is given and what is not given so the given things are very clear but there are the few hidden things so hidden things means hidden concept that we should understand the first and the most important thing is that when we need to find out the area okay so how can we find out the area so for which the uh, for the wheat only the remaining data is there base period is there delta is there but we don't have discharge we don't have a information about the duty we don't have information about the discharge if we have the information about the duty and the discharge then only we will be able to solve this particular problem so what i will will start actual uh, solution so i'll just copy paste this particular problem in the board in the ms team so see so this is a problem i have copy pasted here and now we will solve so as you know as if any kind of problem is there where the duty delta and all these things are given or few things are given then first thing which you, should, you can do blindly is simply use the formula so the what is the formula uh, for the duty or delta that we will write here so that we will it will give us the idea that how we should process for the next step so the next uh, so first thing is that uh, for the formula for the duty d is equal to uh, 8.64b so 8.64b that is base period divided by delta so now in this particular and uh, we are supposed to use for rice only why should we use for the rice because the canal is designed the canal did the design discharge of the canal is based on the rice only and for the data for the rice is, is given so we can use that data and can find out the design discharge okay and before that we should find out the duty that's why we are we have started with the duty only so the base period uh, is given for the rice so i'll just multiply it to 8.6 sorry 8.64 b b is 150 in, in this case so 150 divided by depth so how much is the depth depth is given uh it is 130 cm so 130 cm we can convert into meter simply 1.3 meter and then what is the final answer for uh for duty uh by 8.64 into 150 multiply by 1.3 divided by 1.3 so 996 
पॉइंट नाइन टू थ्री नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू थ्री एंड यूनिट इज हेक्टर पर क्यूमिक देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप एज वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्चार्ज सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू ड्यू दिस पर्टिकुलर वॉट एवर द एरिया इज गिवन बिकॉज हेक्टर पर क्यूमिक इफ यू डिवाइड एरिया दैट इज हेक्टर डिवाइड बाई हेक्टर पर क्यूमिक विल गेट द विल गेट द डिस्चार्ज सो वन टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हेक्टर इज गिवन सो टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हेक्टर डिवाइडेड बाय दिस नाइन हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू थ्री हेक्टर पर क्यूमिक सो फाइनल आंसर वी विल गेट फॉर द डिस्चार्ज इज टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो डबल सेवन एंड यूनिट इज क्यूमिक सो नाउ वी हैव डिस्चार्ज सो बाय यूजिंग दिस डिस्चार्ज वी कैन फाइंड आउट द uh area for the uh, the area that can be irrigated for wheat and before that we should find out the duty so duty for duty of canal for wheat so in the same formula 8.64 b divided by delta here the only the thing is that uh instead of this b instead of 150 will use 120 it is because it is given over here and instead of this 1.3 you will use 0.5 because 50 cm of the depth is given so just to put these values and what what would be the answer so delta for wheat is equal to uh, 8.64 into 120 divided by 0.5 so 200 2000 2000 and 73 point Six hectare per cubic. So this is the answer for duty. Just a minute. I need to erase it. Okay. I'll select pencil again. And the next step is the final step is we are supposed to find out the area. But how can we? How can I get the area? so area that can be irrigated for wheat is equal to if we multiply this hectare per cubic to the cubic that is discharge which is 2.5077 definitely will get the answer so uh, 2073.6 multiply by 2.5077 and the final answer is area is equal to Five thousand two hundred and hectare. So I'll write here five thousand two hundred hectare. So this is the answer. So in this way, basically, we are supposed to solve this particular problem. We will solve few more problems. in the same way so i'll just open the next problem so we i will add here in the same way okay so the next problem whatever the problem is asked so the next problem will open this is uh, the next problem so here you can see the answer is 5200 hectare next problem is that was asked in gate 2013 i will just uh, take over here in the ms team so now it is easy for us to see the given okay so yes you can see this problem uh what we can do is we can solve this problem so first we will read it and then it is easy for us to find out so solution i will choose the different color yeah so with the pencil we'll solve so if you read this problem we can understand the transplantation of rice requires 
टेन डेज एंड टोटल डेप्थ ऑफ द वाटर रिक्वायर्ड ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसप्लांटेशन इज फोर्टी एट सेंटीमीटर ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसप्लांटेशन देर इज एन इफेक्टिव रेनफॉल ऑफ एट सेंटीमीटर सो द ड्यूटी ऑफ इरीगेशन वाटर सो ड्यूटी इज आर सो फॉर फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट आई विल डू आई जस्ट राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला फॉर द ड्यूटी सो ड्यूटी इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट सिक्स फोर बी डिवाइडेड बाय डेल्टा ओके सो वट इज गिवन ओवर हियर we uh, is base period because uh, the transplantation of rice requires 10 days okay so for that particular period what is the value in terms of time or the period and that's why we can call we can mention instead of b we can take this value that is 10 days so 8.64 into 10 divided by what would be the delta actually Uh, there are the two things delta actually uh, it is given that water required during transplantation is 48 cm for that crop but uh, rainfall was 8 cm it means that only 40 cm was provided was, was was given through the canal system or the uh, through through the irrigation system so uh, we can we should not mention the 40 cm so that rather we can mention 48 minus 8 so what we will get 40 cm so 40 cm it means that 0.4 meter 0.4 meter so what is the final answer so 8.64 into 10 divided by 0.4 so i'll just use the can see so uh, it uh, 8.64 Into ten divided by point four, so we'll get the final answer as a two sixteen. So two hundred and sixteen is the answer. And what would be the unit? So unit would be the hectare per cubic. Hectare per cubic. So basically, in this way, we can solve the problem. So actually, if we see uh, the second thing, actually I also have the. um one website through which actually i could get the problems uh, here the problems are there so uh 216 so this is the answer 216 so there are the different options 612 so the final answer is 216 216 hectare per cubic now next problem we will solve that is also based that is also related to the same uh, but uh, what we will do instead of solving this particular problem i would like you to solve this particular problem uh, by using the same concept so you can note down there are the two problems uh, three problems uh, two problems we have solved and two more problems are there so an agriculture land of 437 hectare so this particular problem and uh, the last problem so these two problems you can solve and you uh, so by tomorrow uh, if you won't be able to solve this particular problem or if you face any kind of difficulty then definitely i'm going to create the video on the basis of these two problems so yes so whatever the answers you would get for these two problems uh you can you can just mention in the comment box so uh, the first problem i'll just uh, give you the hint in the first problem uh so an agriculture uh, land of 437 hectare is given uh, depth of the water required by crop is also given base period is given and rainfall so the same concept what we have used the same concept you can use and you can solve the problem number 3 in the last problem you are supposed to use the kor concept so only uh, the kor period for the wheat is given uh, which is 30 days here kor water depth is given which is 120 cm so this is the delta this is b intensity of irrigation is given which is 50% of this total area which is 20000 so the area we will get that can be irrigated with the intensity of irrigation 50% it will be 20000 multiplied by 0.5 so 10000 hectare so these are the hints so by using these hints i think you will be able to solve this particular problems and uh, you just mention your answers in the comments so we will discuss in the next session thank you